Hi, this is Travis with POS Guys. Today we're going to be demonstrating some of the advanced features of Seagull Bartender Enterprise Edition. Enterprise Edition basically has all the same features as the Pro Edition, so if you want to check out that video, you can find out information on basic label creation and integrating with the database. Here we have a label that we designed in regular Bartender Enterprise. What Enterprise allows you to do is upload it to a web interface and this is the web interface here. So this is that same label brought up in the web interface. This was in Bartender. This is on the web. We're just using Internet Explorer. Um, from here, depending on how you set up the label, you can put in specific information. So like on this label, we allow the product barcode to change, uh, the quantity field can change, and the ship to can change. You can also control how many copies of the label you want to print. From here you can select any printer that you have installed on the computer. So we have the Datamax O'Neill RL4. This is our wireless printer. So it can go anywhere where we have a Wi-Fi connection. And we also have uh, Zebra 2824. Okay, Here we're going to demonstrate printing to a wireless printer. I have the Datamax O'Neill RL4. This is connected through Wi-Fi, so it's on a local Wi-Fi with um, our web interface here. This would be used if you're using like a warehouse and you want to send a work order to someone on the floor. So we can pull up the order, we see the label that we want to print, and then we go up to the top and we hit print. It takes a little bit to load, and then we're going to get a spooling request, so it's telling you that it print to the RL4 and then the person on the warehouse would have received the work order. And so that is the same as that. All right, now we're going to show the opposite. So what we have here is a mobile computer. We're on the floor and we've we're scanning an item and we need to send the information to the main computer. So in this prompt dialog, it says specify barcode. I'll get my barcode out here and I'll scan it. The item from the information from the barcode was entered into our prompt dialog box. If you want to preview it, we can hit update preview. And then the information on the barcode will now appear in the dialog box. down there and then when we want to print we come back up to the top and hit print and it'll print out the label on our 2024 which is connected to our main computer so long as your device has access to your wireless network then you can print from it. So right here I have my cell phone. It's on the network. I can pull up one of the labels that we have designed. This one. And I'm going to print to the mobile printer. It loads up the label. You can see it down there. And here I'll zoom in a little. There's the print box. It's specifying our wireless printer. Print and it will spool up the RL4 and our RL4 came alive and printed as such. So this has been a basic rundown of the web print server and uh, bartender enterprise. Uh, there's also a command tool that can integrate with the enterprise edition which allows you to use labels design in bartender uh, in other applications that can interface with the Commander software. Uh, you'll want to check out our website and the product information for more information on the command software. Um, but this was a brief overview of some enterprise capabilities of it. You can use mobile devices and print to wired uh, printers or you can go the other way. You can print to a wireless printer on the warehouse if you have like an RL4 attached to 
a forklift or something like, like that and you want to send work orders out to them so it goes both ways and it just gives a, uh, a new ability to different uh, logistics in warehousing and shipping and receiving uh, in order to integrate with the database you might need a little bit of, of a programming background there is a BB script capability that you use that will allow you to uh, prompt for database records, um, but it will take a little bit of programming to get that to work. For more information on SQL Bartender on the Zebra LP2824, the Data Max O'Neill RL4, uh, please visit our website at www.posguys.com.